Hello, it is Mac here, and today I'm going to talk about the new M1A1 Thompson that has been added to Battlefield Hardline in the most recent update. So this is a new weapon added to Battlefield Hardline, and it is the M1A1 Thompson, or the Tommy Gun. And it is a weapon that is free to everyone if you own Battlefield Hardline, and you know, it just once you update the game, you'll get this weapon, it's free. So you can use this on all classes, Operator, Mechanic, Enforcer, or Professional. And whenever they were talking about veteran rewards for Battlefield Hardline, this was a few months before the game came out, when they were talking about veteran rewards, and I thought it would be just a, a great idea to make a veteran reward weapon a a and add a Thompson to the game. Much like the Thompson that was in Bad Company 2, which was uh, one of my favorite weapons in the game. And it's just a great weapon. It's it's uh, it's kind of a novelty weapon in Battlefield Hardline. It's not a veteran reward, at least from my knowledge. It's free to everyone, which is nice. And it is nice that we are getting some free gun for Battlefield Hardline. And it's a fun weapon. Now, the attachments that you can place on it are the extended mag and the grip. So, nothing too special also you can't put any camos except for the bronze silver and gold camo on it but it is a fun weapon just from my experience it's just fun to run around with a world war ii thompson it's fun and i do really like the weapon now there are a few things with it i mean since it is an all kit weapon the damage isn't all that great now, uh, if you go to Simthic, the stats haven't been updated, and those aren't on Simthic.com. Uh, if you want to go there, I think that's because the DLC isn't out on PC yet. And these may have changed, but on CTE, the damage, it was max 25, minimum damage was 15, and then the drop-off start was 15, drop-off end was 30, fire rate is 725 rounds per minute. The muzzle velocity is 320, the mag size is 30, or 50 if you have extended mag on it and the reload is 3.73 with empty and 2.25 with left if you have bullets left in the magazine and those if you want to go check out the stats on this weapon and more of the recoils and all that then you can go check that out it will be a forum post but one problem i've had with this weapon i hope that this can be addressed in the future but if you notice in this clip right here so I'm reloading this weapon, and I press X to reload. During this reload, I am holding down the trigger, my fire trigger. And as you can see, he puts in the magazine, but I can't shoot until a little bit afterwards. And this has gotten me killed so many times, and it's so frustrating because you're already done with the animation. I don't know if this is on intentional, or if, he, or if there's some reason for it, or this is balancing. But you'll put in the magazine, and then you, you know, you're ready to fire. And you know, you're all ready, but you can't fire. I don't know if that's just me or on Xbox One. That's you know just something wrong with it. And the reason why I have been enjoying this weapon is because it's a Thompson. And I don't know how many of you guys know this, but my YouTube name Gibsomatic comes from the Pack a Punch Thompson in Call of Duty: World at War. If you pack a bunch of Thompson in, in World at War, so that was one of the reasons why I kind of really like this weapon is because I mean, kind of my my name on YouTube comes from the Thompson from Wood at War, or at least a Pack-a-Punch Thompson. It's just a very fun weapon. I really do like it. Now, another thing is that you can't place optics on this weapon, and the iron sights are kind of bad. I don't really like them much. Kind of hard to track targets in them, and they're, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, see out of them. So, I usually just hip fire in close quarters with this weapon. The hip fire isn't all that bad, especially if you put on the grip on here. It's not that bad of hip fire, and I do really like the hip fire. And also, it kind of feels like a PDW mixed with an LMG in, in certain parts. Because if you put on that drum mag, you're gonna have 50 rounds in a magazine, and it's kind of like a kind of like an LMG in that sense. Because 50 rounds in a magazine, that's a lot of you know, that's a lot of bullets. It's just a very fun weapon to use. If you guys have not used the Thompson or the M1A1 in Battlefield Hardline, go play Battlefield Hardline and go use this weapon because it is fun. Sure, you're not going to do as great as like an M416 or an M16 or a K10 in close quarters. It's, But it's still just a fun weapon to use and it does have its perks. So let me know your thoughts on this weapon in the comments. Do you like it? Do you not? And hope you enjoy. Feedback's always personal. I'll see you guys in the next video.